Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at head loss, relating it to Bernoulli's equation, and I'm going to introduce the darcy Weisbach equation. So far in this topic we've considered pressure gradients in pipes and the effects of viscosity and the no-slit boundary on velocity of pipe flow. Uh, we've only considered fully developed flows, which was a flow uh, far from any disturbances, and we're still going to only consider fully developed flows in this course, um, but there there are still other things that affect pipe flow, um, and I touched on it in a previous video. There were things like the pipe itself that caused uh, losses, entrance regions disturbed the flow, elbows, joints, and pumps, um, and the main effect these things have is that they do introduce losses, and in particular head losses. Uh, now, head loss accounts for the effect that these connections and pipe properties have on flow velocity and pressure. So what we're going to do in this video is find out how to account for these losses, and the way we do this is considering the amount of energy that's lost. So let's start with the Bernoulli equation. Um, going back, way back to the topic on Bernoulli's equation, we identified that the Bernoulli equation was an energy equation where P on rho G was the work done by the power force, V squared on 2G was the kinetic energy, and Z2 was the potential energy. Now we're considering losses, so we need to subtract head losses in its energy form, and we subtract it from the left-hand side, or we can add it to the right-hand side of the Bernoulli equation, which gives us this equation here. So this is the full energy equation that accounts for losses. So if you're gonna if you're given the amount of loss in a pipe system as a head value, then you simply use this equation uh, to find other properties such as pressure and velocity. Uh, but most of the time we have to find head loss and it turns out uh, that the equation for head loss has a similar function to the pressure gradient for turbulent flows. So this is defined as the darcy Weisbach equation, which is this one here. And that accounts for major losses. Uh, there's a distinction between major and minor losses. Major losses are the losses incurred due to the roughness of the pipe, um, so frictional losses. Minor losses are those in incurred due to disturbances in the pipe. So as I, as I showed up here, Minor losses are to do with pumps, valves, elbows, and entrance regions. We won't be considering minor losses in this course, but they do exist. 